Hey guys, welcome to the One Park at a Time channel. This is our first episode of many, I hope. In this episode, we are traveling to Arizona. We landed in Phoenix, immediately got in the rental car and headed towards Winslow, Arizona, just like from the Eagles song. It's about three hours north of Phoenix. We got a great Airbnb that's one block off the iconic Route 66 corner. And there are multiple gift shops named Taking It Easy. There's a great photo opportunity. There's even a flatbed Ford you can take a picture with. Day two, we woke up early, headed to the coffee shop that was half a block away from our Airbnb, and then headed west to Meteor Crater National Monument. Meteor Crater National Monument is a must-see right off the highway. It is a privately owned attraction, so your park pass won't help you there. And it was a little expensive for a family of four. It was about $100. But for that, the kids did get a little scavenger hunt and they got a free patch if they completed the scavenger hunt at the end of our visit. There was also a fun 4D adventure. It was a little movie where the chairs moved up and down and it blew wind in your face all about the meteor crater. And it was nice because it was included in the price of admission. Unlike anything I'd ever seen before, and I highly recommend, we went early in the morning and so we had very few crowds and it was nice. We had the whole place to ourselves. Following that, we headed east about an hour and a half to Petrified National Forest. Now this was one of our big parks that we planned on hitting. We made a pit stop at Stewart's Rock Shop. The lady that was running the shop did give the boys both a thunder egg and a free piece of petrified wood into the park our first stop was the visitor's center our boys both have national park passport books if you don't know about these they're awesome they're little passport books that you can stamp and every visitor center has a stamp some of them even have a unique stamp specific to that park and we make them stamp their passport and it's going to be a great record of all the parks that they've visited over the years the hiking was easy we hit almost all the hikes right off the the main road, the really the only road. And we were in the park for about three hours or so. And then we made our way to Pine Top, Arizona, which is right outside the Sunshine Ski Area, which is the southernmost ski area in the United States, I learned. We stayed at an awesome little Airbnb called the Corduroy Motel. They've got cabins, they've got old airstreams, they've got a coffee roastery that's under construction right now. So hopefully, uh, later in the year, it'll be open. And my boy's favorite thing is they had an oversized cornhole set. So we played quite a bit of cornhole in our downtime. Day three, we woke up to an unexpected hurdle. We had a dead battery in our rental car. I've always had great experience with Enterprise and they were able to get a tow truck out to give us a jump within the hour, which was great. On our way into Tucson from Pine Top, we headed to the Tonto National Forest Lower Cliff Dwelling Monument. It was about a 30 minute detour, so an hour both ways, just going directly from Pine Top to Tucson, but well, well worth it. There's two sets of dwellings, the upper and the lower. The upper is guided and you have to reserve a spot. We didn't have a reservation, but the lower cliff dwellings are first come, first serve. It was great, they had a volunteer ranger at the top that answered all my boys' questions and I highly, highly recommend it if you're passing by that area. Day four, we woke up early and headed towards Saguaro National Park. And Saguaro National Park, of course, we hit up the visitor center as always. Great visitor center, lots to see. They had a 15 minute movie about the Saguaro National Park. And then we hopped in the car and they have an eight mile scenic drive. Uh, the highlight of that drive would probably be the Discovery Trail, which is one of the first trails you come to. It's all paved, easy for the kiddos, and lots of informational plaques to teach you about the types of cactus, the environment, and whatnot. After wrapping up in the park, we took a short drive on the way back into Tucson and stopped at the Sonora Desert Museum and Botanical Gardens. This was an amazing facility, one of the nicest museums I've ever been to. It included an aquarium, a zoo, a mineral and geology exhibit, and then they even had an air-conditioned kids play area, which is a great spot where we could sit down, recharge, and get ready to hit the road again. 
Day five was certainly my favorite day, but it was a challenging day for the family. I took the family on their longest hike to date, the Seven Falls Trail outside of Tucson. This trail was located in the Sabino Canyon Wilderness Area. Really, really nice wilderness area with multiple trails. This trail can be done one of two ways, either a 8.5 mile round trip, or you can do what we did and you pay a little fee and you hop on a tram and it will take you to the halfway point of the trailhead. I highly recommend using the tram. It made it a doable hike for us and the first half of it's all on a paved road anyway. It was seven river crossings and the end of the trail was 100% worth it. I highly recommend this trail. Just make sure you bring your water. One of the things I liked about this trail is even if you don't make it all the way to the falls, which I highly recommend you push forward, just hiking to a few of the river crossings is worth it. After wrapping up the Seven Falls Trail, we hopped in the car and headed to Phoenix. Had an adorable Airbnb in Phoenix. Next morning we woke up, had some time before the airport, so we headed to the Hole in the Rocks Trail. Simple, easy trail. Kiddos had no problem. Great view of downtown Tucson. And then we killed a little bit more time by taking the boys to some black like mini golf grabbed lunch before our flight, and headed home. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I hope that you got some ideas for your trip. And in the future, I hope to do a lot more of this audio on the trail, but we're just getting started. So I hope you like and subscribe and continue the journey with us.